In case you were wondering what the hell that was, oh, I will tell you that. I have, of course, become much, much stronger than before. And the glove that broke fell. <laughs> it's all the more powerful now. And thanks to what you might want to be wondering, thanks to the power of the Chaos Emeralds I have absolved, their power, and I have become even far stronger than before. Chaos Control! <laughs> now, a while ago, while I, when I was chatting with Foxler on the usual chat rooms, we ended up seeing some interesting footage, which, of course, it was the, the one you saw in the start of the video, but I, of course, I modified it. Wanna know why? Cause I can! <laughs> but then again, I asked him, you know, a while ago to make, it, to, uh, make a bit of a video of it. He uh, didn't reply, so I took it a yes, and here we are! <laughs> and again, if, if you are wondering who Foxler is, allow me to explain. Foxler is the leader and founder of the Furry Raiders, of which we have our own likes and tastes. Uh, we also uh, are just basically just a, a club of furry fetishists and whatnot. And I mean, just we just want to have our get together, know our friends and whatnot. And of course, we're often always confused by the alt furry, but you know they are both different. But we go hand to hand together. But. Again, I mean, it's not all that all sunflowers and rainbows and unicorns and all the things all happy as it is, right? But no, actually. Now, of course, you know, the fact that we're just trying to have our own space on the internet without being constantly discriminated against. And of course, uh, being discriminated by who? Oh, I'll get to that a little too. But again, we just want to have our, sp our place a little too. But again, as well too, we cannot, be, we cannot let's say... Oh my god, I can still see the horrors when I close my eyes. But of course I'm talking about as well too, that uh, the ones who discriminate against the, alt the furry raiders and the alt furries, they are no more than the... The Democrat furries. Oh, they are so evil and nasty with their communism. Unfortunately, that kind of discrimination has become part of our daily basis to be politically discriminized for our looks, our tastes. Not only, you know, is a topic reserved for the internet, which, of course, it has gone beyond that. Of course, what I'm talking about. That, as you saw as well too on the first video that I modified, that some people, rather than leaving it to the internet, they take it to real life as well too, to just uh, go ahead with their enforced political correctness to intimidate others who dis with just my disagreements will too? I mean, shit. Give us a bread of a breathing, breathing space. <laughs> now, as you've noticed, the kind of individual who bumped onto Foxdor, he's wearing quite a very peculiar hat. Now, what hat are we talking about? <laughs> cool lady. Now, uh, now, also the way how he bumped into Foxdor, like, oh my god, I punched a Nazi. Now my parents will finally accept me, and then I'll probably get myself a girlfriend. Oh, oh yes, uh, my lady. <laughs> also, I'm trying not to be mean, but seriously, when people go to parties such as four cons or whatever, we're just there, just have fun, you know? So, would it be much, I mean, to ask to just simply just respect that for fuck's sake? I mean... We literally don't have to go through all the bullshit, you know, on a daily basis, so please just fucking, fucking please, you know, just give us a bit of a break, you know. We have to endure a lot of, say, bullshit on the online, on real life, and, and we all just uh, want to have, you know, a bit of a party, you know. 
just hang around, meet new people, hang out with friends, and also get to know some strange fun people with all some, some petty bullshit to ruin the fun, if you know what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> oh, and please, don't go after the basement dweller who bumped onto Fox Girl 2. It could have been intentional just as much as it could have been an accident, right? I mean, the way how he reacted you know, after bumping to Foxler and the way how he just like, why do you do this? Now, of course, it will too, mate. It, it makes it look like it was an accident, but again, it will too, mate. Maybe he uh, didn't want to be seen after bumping to, maybe bumping to Foxler, which, you know, probably would have made a, ver a very awkward situation for him. But hey, I mean, I respect that as well, too. I mean, I mean, just. Uh, I don't want to be seen. I gotta walk away from here. I mean, that could that could have been a thing as well too. Like just, mm, I punch a Nazi. Now I'm gonna walk home and play some, uh, some World of Warcraft. I gotta gotta, gotta go mine for, for for some of the gold. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I gotta go. <laughs> now of course I'm I'm just uh, I'm just you know make some some just to give me some interesting examples that I can think about as well too. Yeah. Also, uh, Foxler, if uh, by any chance you uh, you get to actually see this, I mean, my personal recommendation would be for you to just wash your suit. I mean, supposing that I've actually identified the type of correct basement dweller that could that could have been as well too. It could have been, you know, the type of basement dweller who only walks around in the daylight in a very frequent moment, and. Of course, he always carries the fungus from all the basement as well too. And with that bump, he could have infected your suit with the spores of lactose intolerancy. Or whatever they all say would mean, right? <laughs> uh, give me a second. But then again, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this one as much as I did. And I look forward to the next one. So I'll see you guys next time. And until then. <sighs> <laughs> See you guys next time, and until then, I just can't take off my eyes. Oh, pretty. Oh, pretty decided.